is the final episode of the weekly for 2023. We thought we'd get our next guest back to take us through all the topics they didn't quite get to this year. Can you please welcome Reese Nicholson? <laughs> Charlene, yes. <laughs> I'm here to turn the blowtorch on a topic in a humorous fashion. But before I do, let me say, I've had such a great time being on the show this season. I actually finally watched an episode. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so, what did you think? It's so funny, Charles. I love hearing the news skewered in such a smart way. And Waleed is so great at balancing out some of Steve's <laughs> views. Um... How long has Carrie not been on it? Reese, I, I think you were watching the... Um, the Charles, break. I... I'm here to talk about <laughs> scientists. Humanity's busy body buzz kills. I tell you what, I miss the good old days when science was all about reporting positive stuff. You know, when smoking was good for you, the earth was <laughs> flat, and climate change was just a setting on your diesel-powered air conditioner. <laughs> These days, it's all bad stuff. And I'll be honest, it's bloody exhausting. I'm starting to feel like the little Amish boy in the movie Witness. I've seen too much. <laughs> Sorry, was that a reference to a Harrison Ford science movie? Science <laughs> is a lot like you, Charles. I trust it, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> <laughs> For starters, it's this whole robots and AI mumbo jumbo. We all know that robots are definitely going to kill us. Our, <laughs> our only protection seems to be asking them to identify a traffic light or a crosswalk. <laughs> Corporations are doing their best to inject AI into our lives as much as possible. Woolworths have begun using it to watch us at the self service checkout. Yeah, that seems a little invasive. Exactly. I go to the self-checkout to avoid that kind of human shame. <laughs> I don't need some robot asking me why on a Friday night I'm just buying three tubes of toothpaste, a pineapple and four litres of milk. <laughs> what I do in the bath is my business. <laughs> but it's not stopping there. Some scientists are out here doing their best to play God. Scientists at the genetic engineering company made famous for its mission to bring back the woolly mammoth are embarking on a new mission. The dodo bird. They've announced they've raised $150 million to de-extinctify the dodo. <laughs> the bird that nobody missed in the first place. It's like bringing John Laws back from the dead. Um, John Laws is alive. Is he? Uh, Charles, yeah. this is the kind of bonkers, wacky, tobacky bullshit science is working on when there are so many real issues that need attention. In fact, I asked AI chatbot ChatGPT for a list of things we need to fix now, and it came back with this horror-filled shit show of a list. Uh, yeah. What are you doing, scientists? <laughs> While you're busy reanimating bullshit birds and taking photos of me while I'm buying pineapples and milk for totally innocent reasons. <laughs> Need more killer robots are a solution to climate change so we don't all melt. Shall we find a cure for cancer or bring back the fucking dodo bird? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, the only good robots are Roombas, R2D2, and Michael Roll. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm frightened, and I'm not sure I can keep trying to be funny about all this grim shit. So we'll see you next season? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please thank?